So Scary Movie is getting rebooted. Mm -mm. Paramount Pictures is partnering with Fast and Furious maker producer Neil H. Moritz to resurrect the dormant horror spoof franchise, which I think the last one was in 2013, which is probably a film that most people never saw. So most people are saying that this movie shouldn't be rebooted with, and they shouldn't do it without um, Regina Hall and Anna Faris. I agree and disagree. This is why I would agree. Those two are just comedic spoof queens. They just, they, they are like, you can't watch this movie, those scary movies and not laugh at them. And the funny thing about both of them is that they were novice actresses. Like Regina's first role was in The Best Man and that was 99, 98 or 99. And I think Scary Movie was actually her second film. Anna, her story is she graduated from college. She was going to, she was going to go to London, decided to go to Los Angeles instead. And the first project she auditioned for uh, was Scary Movie. And Keenan Ivory Wayans, who cast her, he said the reason he liked her because she had really good comedic instincts. They both do, Regina and Anna. But it's so it's 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 it's, it's crazy how he found these two diamonds in the rough who didn't have much experience, but who popped on screen. Like you just laugh when you saw Regina, you laugh when you saw Anna. And it and they proven to be even better actresses later on because Anna was great in mom. And Regina has proved has proven to be a powerhouse. And in films as well. So Keenan had really had a really good eye for talent. The reason why I don't want them to be in the reboot is that if the Waynes brothers are not involved and they probably won't be, I can see this head headline. Regina Hall, Anna Ferris are fantastic in scary movie, which overall sucked. <laughs> Cause that's what I think is gonna happen. Writing a parody or doing parodies is not easy. I think a lot of people think they can do it, but they can't. And the secret weapon in the, in the scary movie franchise. So, okay, so you had Regina and you had Anna. Sean, Sean Wayans and Marlon Wayans, along with Buddy Johnson, who worked with the Wayans brothers on their show, and the brother Damon Show, My Wife and Kids, wrote the script. Like I said, Keenan directed it. But the most important person of all these people was Keenan and Ivy, Ivy Wayans. Keenan and Robert Townsend created the Hollywood Shuffle, which parodied Black Hollywood. They then took that idea and they partners on partners on crime on HBO, which just parodied black culture. Keenan did I, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, which parodied black exploitation films, and then he parodied parody pop culture within Living Color. So by the time Keenan gets to Scary Movie, he has this already in his head. He knows how to do this. And I'm sure a young guy growing up, he watched the airplane movies, which was done by Zucker, Abrams, and Zucker. If you're a, a comedic writer, or a comedic director. Watch Airplane. Watch Airplane 2. Watch uh, Police Squad, which they did with Leslie Nielsen, which was on ABC for like 12, 13 episodes, got canceled, and they turned that idea into the Naked Gun series. Those guys, when it comes to parroting, it's not just the joke, right? You got the joke within the joke, but then the stuff in the background. Sometimes the stuff in the background is just as funny or funnier than the actual joke that they're saying. So, Keenan growing up as a young man, watched those films <laughs> and took that with Robert and created this paradigm, the Hollywood Shuffle and all that stuff. And then by the time he gets the scary movie, he knew what, what he wanted to do. So I'm sure there was lines that Sean and Mar Marlon wrote that was good, but Keenan said, well, why don't we try this line? Well, why don't we make this, let me, let me add, to, add, say it this way. Or maybe Regina or Anna had an idea for, for a scene and Keenan was like, yeah, let's try that. Let's give it a, give it a whirl. Like when you don't have that person, that point person, no matter what, you always got to have that point guard who knows what's going on, who, who can cut. It's like, okay, okay, this okay. I, I think we can do this. Let's just try this. Or I think that's a good idea. Maybe not try it that way, try it this way. Like you need that person. And that's the most important thing for this reboot. If they don't find the, the right director for this, it's going to fail. It's going to fail because you, there's a lot of things that people write. You could have like a script that's pretty good, right? But if you don't have that right person who can punch it up, why they're filming? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I just saw a story about Iron Man where they were, the, Robert Downey was like, I don't like that line. He told John Favreau, I'm going to, let me try it, say it this way. And John Favreau was like, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> just to make things better. And I don't think, com com there's not too many really good comedy writers today. It used to be a whole bunch. It, it's not around today. I was looking at like, like the top films of the past year, very few comedies. Because the comedians aren't as funny anymore. And the comedy writers aren't as funny anymore. 
And you know what would be funny? So since the Fast and Furious producer is going to do this new scary movie, I think if Sean and Marlon and Keenan, if Keenan wants to do it, should parody those Fast and Furious movies. That would be fantastic. Because those films, even though they got some comedy in it, they're, they're supposed to be like serious action films. But, you, but as long as you got Vin Diesel saying like, this is for family. <laughs> and Tyrese trying to be funny. I like Tyrese. Tyrese is great. But still, and all the stunts they do, like you could have so much Tokyo Drift and Bow Wow. You can do so many things parodying those Fast and Furious films. So the Wayans Brothers, here's a tip. Put me as an executive producer. Parody those Fast and Furious films since these guys took your franchise. And the backstory about the franchise is Sean, Marlon, and Keenan did the first two. They didn't do the third. They wanted to do the third. They went in for a new deal because they was probably under contract for two. They went to the Weinstein Company who produced the film and they said, hey, these are new terms. And the Weinstein Company was like, nah, we'll do it ourselves. <laughs> and they took it away from them. And what happened? Those films just got worse and worse. And what, and what happened? Sean, Marlon, and Keenan ended up doing end up doing uh, Don't Be a Menace. They end up doing White Chicks. They end up doing Little Man. Oh, I love Kerry Washington. If there's four Kerry Washington films I would watch all the time, it would be Little Man, uh, Peebles, uh, She Hate Me, which is now 20 years uh, old now. And most importantly, um, I Think I Love My Wife with Chris Rock. Fantastic. So the whole thing about with the, with the scary movie, I just don't think it's a good idea. Now, I understand why they're doing it. There's been a lot since 2013. There's been a bunch of really good horror movies. Like you've had Get Out, you've had Us, you have Nope, um, you have Immaculate recently with uh, with Sydney Sweeney, who actually would be pretty good in a scary movie type thing because she's really funny. If you saw her in SNL, you have Megan. Megan's really good. The Night at Freddy's, um, the last few. Uh, Halloween movies with Jamie Lee Curtis, like all the whole, all those Blumhouse movies, you can just parody. So I understand why they would reboot it because the scary movies movies franchise did really well. But if you don't have a Keenan, and if you don't have the writers, and if you don't have appealing great actresses like Regina Hall and Anna Faris, it's not going to work. That scary that that scary movie was a perfect stew of writing, of directing, and talent. That's hard to do. That's very hard to do. And I don't, and just because you produce Fast and Furious don't, doesn't mean you could produce a comedy, especially a spoof. So what do you think? Should they reboot this? Should Regina and Anna come back? What about the Wayans? And speaking of that, I'll be fair. So when, when, when Marlon went on his own, Marlon's a funny guy, right? But when he started doing his own projects, you could tell he missed Sean and he missed Keenan. Sean was really his partner as far as writing. But when, so when Marlon had to show on, the, on NBC, it just wasn't as funny. And when he did, and, sent, and he's done his own parody films, I think on Netflix. And he just felt like you watch these films, it's like, I know you're funny, but there's something missing in the writing. And this, I'm t writing is so important to comedy. In Living Color, if they remade it today, wouldn't be as funny because you don't have Paul Mooney in the room. You don't, have, you don't have Jim Carrey there. You don't have Tommy Davidson there. You don't have Franklin Ajay there. Like, there's such a lack of talent in Hollywood. Great talent. Not just average, great talent. So I digress. So what do you think? Should they not reboot this? What, what movie should they parody? If, if, you, if they did do this, because I think, it's, like I said, this will come out in 2025, what horror film should they reboot? And if you think about a different franchise reboot, just like I said about the Fast and Furious, which should be parodied, what franchise do you think should be parodied? And to Regina Hall and Anna Faris, like I said, I don't want you doing this movie, but I'd love to see you two in a buddy cop movie. Now that would be hilarious.